What's up, DGENs? We are here back covering Friday the 5th, 2024 on the QQQ. Uh, looking at the open, you know, it's, it's pretty mixed. You get bulls, you get bears, and what happens? We get that open morning volatility that we kind of always expect. Uh, we always like to say around 10 a.m., 10, 15, we get some serious fuckery. That's exactly what you see here with this giant move up. Uh, the bulls start to come in, or the bears start to come in, excuse me, to try and take it down. And they don't really get it. I mean, if you're in these, you lose a little bit. But the way that I like to look at these things is if a move is happening, right? So move is happening from the open, 369.37. And if we're still going in that direction, do not expect that to stop until at least noon. Now, if we're not, then something can happen. You know, they can set up at 10, 15, 10, 30. But you're looking here, and then we go straight up basically until 11, 15. Here, you know, we get, we, we get the uh, bulls coming in, and these are late. These are late thinking that we're going to go up four or five strikes. But you got to already look at the thing. One, two, three. When you move three away from the open, there's more risk, period. Now, volume was high here, right? And instead of two, we saw three, four, five, and there were none of these red floor bees around. Then it's something you want to take. Then it's trend following. But like right here, just what we say, unclear may be extremely difficult. So we come up 399. What do we always say? If you are in the strike and you need it to go higher and it does not go higher, you are about to get fucked. It is going to blow you out. And it's exactly what happens here. Next, we get a bear here. Let's click on this thing. You know, because we closed you know, relatively at the low of the day, your max gain here is 280%. But even then, right, if we're not even looking at that, you buy this here, bam, you're getting a full strike. What was this time? 11.28, I can't do the math, 12, 12-ish. You're getting a full strike very quickly. Not only are you getting a full strike, but you're getting another bear bomb that comes in. And what does that tell us? Well, more people are taking a bearish position. This bolt right here that comes in, 12.15, you know, it's coming in right around this 397 strike. They're looking for that mean reversion play. Look. We don't want to think mean reversion until you get down here, 1,300 to 1,400. Those are typically the best times for it to happen. It can happen a little earlier at 1245, but not often, okay? So we get back here, and what happens? We're at 1315, we're right back at the opening price. And what does this thing do? Straight up. And then you have a, another bear bomb come in because they think, oh, this thing can't happen, this thing can't happen. This is a good trade, right? Uh, PS minus 104, we love minus one to one, but we could have waited for the entry, right? Because if, if we look, let's just switch. This candlestick mode is kind of gross right now, but just stick with it. This is coming at the top of this, okay? We want to wait. Because when this thing wants to hawk or this thing wants to nuke, you just kind of want to let it do its thing. So switch that back off. We're coming here. As soon as you see that thing start to come down, you're getting all those notifications for the reds coming in. You can take that thing around here. And then boom. Awesome trade. Awesome, awesome, awesome trade. Now a lot of us in the Discord got stuck on these. Because one, you take this one right here. And initially, you know, it's profitable. We are below 396, and you are getting confirmation from one, two, three, four, another big boy. How much is that? You can't even see it on the screen I'm recording, but that's a 10,000 or 1,063 score. I mean, that's huge. A lot of traders thought this was going to go lower, and it was going to be Friday, and we were going to bleed out until the end of the day. It did not happen. Look, we love this trade. I was in this trade. I lost my butt on this trade, but that didn't stop me from, you know, flipping the other way at the end because you don't want to be right in this game. You just want to make money. 
And all these guys, this is a perfect setup. This is what we want below the blue line. If they're going to take it lower, right? Because we're barely even, you know, half a strike down from the open. If they're going to take it lower, it's right here. But it did not happen. That's okay. Lose small on it. If you're like me, you lost a little more than small. You can't pay the rent for at least another few months. But um, that that's how the QQQ looked today. And if we think about it, it's really easy to trade. Because look, you know, we have this bearish bias. Because look, all these bears are coming in. But do we want them here? Do we want them here? Let's just wait and see what happens. And as soon as we get up to this point, 1114-ish, right you see the red floor beast come in what's going to inflict max pain well max pain already is these bears get killed okay because we went up and then the second level of max pain is these bulls get killed and then boom that's a nuke so if you if you waited for these you were patient and you took it up here you know you bam straight down and the only thing you probably did was sell a little bit too early Go back to this one here. Patience, patience. We'll put, put candlestick mode on, that still looks gross. Okay, it just went up a lot. Normally when it goes up, it keeps going. So let's just wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. You see a little red floor be come in, you see all these reds come in, floor, 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 floor. Bam, take that trade, and then what happens? You take that trade, end of the day, you get one, two strikes if you hold all the way through. That is how you played the QQQ today. It was beautiful and an easy way to make money.